The street scares Shabina's father, for it is the street where she goes every day to pick up rubbish and discarded papers, which she then sells to recyclers. She meets other children there. All of them call her Zahid, her male name, her street name. And you, you're not dressed like a boy? No, my father didn't tell me to do so. But the boys make it difficult for me. They beat me. I would like to disguise myself as a boy. Then they would stop bothering me. At the end of the day, Shabina returns home. The first thing she does is to change into her true self once again. Why are you doing that? My work is over. I'm not Zahid anymore. I am Shabina. As a nine-year-old, Shabina wants to be a small girl like the others. But her destiny has taken a different turn. In a few years, who knows if she'll still prefer her veil to her cap. How many other girls like Shabina are out there? Girls dressed like boys by their parents. It's impossible to know for sure. In Afghanistan, the practice is common, but remains hidden. Condemned by Islam, the tradition is a taboo. In this heavily patriarchal society, it is a burden to be born a girl. Dressing like men is one way to escape the severe restrictions imposed on women. In the streets and in classrooms and stadiums, many girls pretend to be boys in order to work, to study, to walk without the veil, to run, to have fun and live. Gradually, they learn to become free. Few are ready to give up this hard-earned freedom, no matter what the cost.